Good morning, I'm Neva Redimanu, and this is your morning news fix for Tuesday, 21st of May. In this update, the International Criminal Court's top prosecutor has requested arrest warrants for the Israeli Prime Minister, his defence chief, along with three Hamas leaders. They're wanted over alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity. Chief Prosecutor Karim Khan says he has reasonable grounds to believe Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Defence Chief bear criminal responsibility for crimes, including starvation of civilians as a method of warfare and willfully causing great suffering. Serious injury to body or health or cruel treatment, willful killing or murder and intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population. Iran's announced five days of mourning for President Ibrahim Raisi after his death in a helicopter crash. Reuters reports the country has a maximum period of 50 days before a presidential election must be held to choose his successor. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange can bring a new appeal against extradition to the United States. He's wanted in the U.S. on 18 charges relating to WikiLeaks' mass release of secret U.S. documents. London's High Court decision means Assange will be able to challenge US assurances over how his prospective trial will be conducted and whether his right to free speech would be infringed. An academic says civil unrest in New Caledonia has been brewing for some time. The main international airport in Noumea remains closed, with all commercial flights suspended. Auckland University Pacific Studies professor Yvonne underhill Sim says Indigenous young people are rioting due to a rapid rise in inequality. She says it was brought about by the French government making it easy for French capital and investment to come into the territory. What that's meant is that you've got very rich, very, very rich, mostly settlers and then very poor. Stats NZ is looking to leave its central Auckland office due to staff safety concerns. An email reveals some staff feel uncomfortable just heading out to lunch from the Grays Avenue office. Stats NZ has confirmed there's no expectation for a staff member to come to the office in person, and if they feel unsafe, they can work from home. It won't renew the lease when it expires at the end of the year. The return of pseudoephedrine based cold medicines is being celebrated. Associate Health Minister David Seymour confirmed they're back on pharmacists' shelves, even posting a picture of himself with the medicine on social media. That type of medicine was banned in 2013 over concerns about its use in meth production. Auckland University Pharmacy School Senior Lecturer Rhys Ponton says there's no other effective alternatives. Replacing a substance that didn't work very well, if at all, or sprays which can be harmful for people's noses. A property developer wants to build more homes of a bygone era around New Zealand. Christchurch's Brooksfield builds medium-density townhouses in a classical heritage style, and now the business is looking to expand and is buying land in Auckland and Wellington. In sport, the Mystics have posted a 54-44 ANZ Premiership netball win over the Magic in Auckland. Parramatta NRL League Club have dismissed coach Brad Arthur, and the Waratahs have sacked Super Rugby coach Darren Coleman. Anna Slot has been confirmed as Jurgen Klopp's management replacement at Liverpool on a three-year deal starting June 1st. The president of the International Paralympic Committee believes the organisation should avoid sanctioning Israel over the military offensive in Gaza. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.